All right, so this is uh, an introductory video for my truck camper. So this is basically the thing that I'm driving currently from Vancouver, uh, BC, British Columbia, uh, up to Yukon Territory, uh, Whitehorse to be more specific. And this is a truck camper. It's a 6.7 liter Ford truck. Um, it's an amazing vehicle, very strong and powerful. Um, it's simply like a normal, regular double cabin um, that you have, uh, but like in their utility tray, they have basically fixed uh, trucks. So this is basically what the vehicle looks from inside. Um, it's a very, it's almost brand new. It only has 5,000 kilometers on it. Um, it's uh, in pretty good shape. Of course, as you can see, I'm traveling by myself at the moment and this is basically the um, camper van area. So I'll first do a roundabout and then I'll go inside as well. Uh, this is basically the RV. So there are quite a bit, um, quite a bit of things in it. Um, I'm not going to go through all of those because the video will get too long, uh, but I'm really enjoying the vehicle. So now you can fix a digital lock on the door so you don't need to, the key to enter the vehicle. Um, that's basically like everything is electronic all the seats adjustments um, the gears are this is the lever for the gear and uh, that's basically what the vehicle looks from inside very comfortable it has a sunroof however it's covered by the RV so as a result you don't see now this is the docking station where you can um, basically attach the city water so it has its own tank um if you want to use the water inside you can use the tank but it also has um, the capability to attach city water so you can attach the city water if you are somewhere where they have electricity you can attach it with power plugs as well so that you can use the uh, external electricity uh, there are some appliances that won't work without external electricity it's a diesel vehicle and uh there is there are a couple of storage compartments here um, basically you get your own there is an axe in there um, okay now that we are doing it let's do it properly so this is basically one storage compartment um, this is the hose and the electric cable in there and cleaning plus um, under this okay I'm not gonna go there you have an axe you have a few other things that you can use um in case like for instance if there are any blockages, and this is basically what it looks like on the inside uh let's go in so you have uh um okay i've forgotten the name of this thing like um yeah i don't remember anyway this is basically what it looks like on the inside um it has four beds actually this is a bed for two people um you have some storage compartments and uh, then you ha again have a sunroof you have a window just to enjoy the view and uh, you have some curtain for privacy if let's say there are four people so this dining table at the moment i've set it up as dining i'm not going to change it but you can set it as as a second bed as well so you have the mattress up there you can set up a second bed here and uh, this is basically what the kitchen looks like so um, this this is the control room so you have you can turn on the pump um, in order to get the water you have an awning here so if I turn the awning on this thing on on the outside it will uh, spread out for uh, like for for uh, for shadow like if you need some shade um, it's very well equipped everything is included I'm doing a relocation deal which means I'm again paying one dollar uh, per day um, all of this is connected to gas uh, there are two gas cylinders for my trip uh, those two are enough the oven is in excellent condition as well um, as i said brand new um, and it also it's also connected to the with the gas now one of the best things that i've discovered in this one is the fridge so the fridge is connected to gas normally like in the old rvs that i have used um, fridge used to be connected to um, electricity so it would take the power from your battery and that's why you would have to be careful so that you don't turn on uh, you don't leave the battery on and um, but this one is connected to gas so as a result uh, it stays on all the time so i have like stuff in the freezer i brought food with myself from home 
um, everything's like it's my keto bread um, and some burger patties. I cooked food because I didn't want to spend time cooking while standing here, even if I wanted to. So now I can warm, like if I uh, if anything, or I have eggs and I'll fry eggs and everything. Um, it has all the things that you would need. Um, all the cooking equipment, the plates, pans, everything's in there. Um, for cleaning, they provide you everything. Um, they provide you all the pans and everything. This is basically the toilet that we have. And uh, again, it has, if I turn on the pump, I can use the water here. Or if I connect it with the city water, I can use the city water as well. Um, it has its heating. So this is the heating bar uh, barometer. This is, um, and heating is also connected to gas. And um, they say that it gets so warm that you don't need to um, need any extra padding or anything. So um, I'm, I will try it tonight because BC, of course, is known for being cold at the moment i'm in whistler um i'm just stand in a parking standing in the parking in whistler um and this is what the view looks like so that's more or less what i wanted to talk about in the vehicle okay i got too relaxed all my laptop and everything is there but you are in canada so you can do these kind of things So that was an introductory walk around of the truck camper.